Do you remember playing the game Hide and Seek when you were a child? Well, in the case of planets, a recently released report by NASA has discovered that a new planet larger than Pluto exists beyond Neptune's orbit, another popular hide-and-seek object. Hello, explorers. I'm Mr. Thinker, and I will let you know about NASA discovering the 10th planet larger than Pluto. Let's get started right away. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has seen the 10th planet, called Xena, for the very first time. Its size is only a little bit bigger than Pluto. Prior ground-based measurements showed that Xena was around 30% bigger than Pluto in diameter. Nevertheless, Hubble measurements made on December 9th and 10th, 2005 show that Xena has a diameter of 1,490 miles, with a margin of error of 60 miles. Hubble has found that Pluto is 1,422 miles across. Mike Brown, a planets researcher at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, California, says, Hubble is the only observatory that can get a clean, visible light measurement of Xena's real diameter. The team of scientists led by Brown found Xena, and the Astrophysical Journal has agreed to publish their findings. It only required a handful of Hubble pictures to figure out how big Xena was exactly. In Hubble's opinion, the entity is 10 billion miles away and 1.5 picture elements wide, slightly more than half the width of the US. This is sufficient to consider making a size measurement with accuracy. Since Xena is tinier than was assumed before, but still pretty vibrant, it must be among the brightest things in the solar system. The only thing that is even more indicative is Enceladus, a moon of Saturn with active geysers covering its surface with highly reflective ice. The possible cause of Xena's brilliant reflectivity is fresh methane frost on the surface. It's feasible that Xena had an environment when it was closer to the Sun, however it froze out when it moved away and now has a lot of space between it and the Sun, causing things to fall to the surface as frost. A further prospect is that Xena's relatively warm interior constantly leaks methane gas. Whenever this methane gets to the cold surface, it freezes right away. This covers craters as well as other characteristics, making this Kuiper Belt entity look bright all over Hubble's telescopic eye. The official number for Xena is 2003 UB313. The KBO has been going around the Sun for about 560 years, and it is currently very near to Aphelion, the point in its orbit where it's closest to the Sun. After that, Brown wants to use Hubble as well as other telescopes to look at other KBOs that are approximately as big as Pluto and Xena. The Kuiper Belt is a massive ring of icy comets and larger objects that circle the orbit of Neptune. The fact that the most extensive recorded KBO is a near twin of Pluto might make it harder to decide if the big icy worlds in the Kuiper Belt should be called planets or not. And on that point, we'll wrap up the video for today. I hope you all had a good time watching, and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Take care, and I'll catch up with you soon.